At WWE Super Showdown, we're going to get Daniel Bryan versus The Miz one more time. I can honestly tell you that at one point, Daniel Bryan versus The Miz was easily one of the hottest matches that I really wanted to happen. And then we had to wait and wait. And then Daniel Bryan came back at WrestleMania in a match with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And then when that storyline was sort of finished... We got Daniel Bryan <laughs> against Big Kaz. Definitely a match that nobody wanted to see. And people said that we're going to have to wait until WrestleMania. And then at SummerSlam, we finally got Daniel Bryan versus The Miz, which ended in The Miz getting a cheap victory after Maurice uh, handed Miz some sort of a foreign object, which he used uh, to, to, to gain the, uh, the pinfall and get the win. But... Um, and then at Hell in the Cell, we got a mixed tag uh, using uh, both partners' wives. Uh, we had Bree and Maurice rolling around in the ring with them, where basically Maurice and uh, The Miz stole another victory. Um, so now here we are at the third match. And I've talked about it a lot of times that definitely when WWE puts together um, a series of matches, which I, I, I bet they did a lot back in the day, just with them and there was less pay-per-views, but somehow when I realize every feud in WWE goes three months, I always sort of lose focus in what is going on. Um, definitely, you can see the Daniel Bryan versus uh, Miz has been going on since SummerSlam. Samoa Joe versus AJ Styles is another match that's going on since SummerSlam. Both of these uh, stories basically have to have a finish. We have to tie a bow on these, and everybody has to go in their own separate directions. Uh, the one thing that we have going for Daniel Bryan versus The Miz is that the winner gets a shot at the WWE Championship. Uh, they don't really crown them number one contender, so... We, we don't really know if the uh, WWE Championship shot, I mean, it could be at another house show, which is going to be in Australia, that we don't even get to see. Uh, we don't know if it's going to take place on SmackDown. We don't know if it's going to take place at the Survivor Series. We don't know when this match is going to happen. Um, but uh, definitely, you know, Daniel Bryan versus The Miz, it goes back all the way uh, to talking smack and then having uh, interviews uh, on SmackDown when Daniel Bryan was just G the GM and because of his neck problems, it was never going to happen. But we can see that, you know, Daniel Bryan's already got that shot in. You know, that was the whole storyline of SummerSlam. He just wanted to punch him one time in the face. He didn't care if he really won or lost. He wanted to go out and prove he was the best wrestler. He got cheated. Um, Brie got into the action. She wanted to get a shot at Maurice uh, for getting her shot in at SummerSlam. So that's sort of out of the way. Daniel Bryan, as a wrestler, needs to put it in gear and win this match so we can see him have a championship shot. Um, you know, Daniel Bryan is that guy that we all get to get behind. We all get the yes, yes, yes. You know, the fans ruined a Royal Rumble that was won by, won by Roman Reigns because of the fact that they wanted Bryan to win and he wasn't even in it. Um, then the next rumble he was in, he got eliminated by Bray Wyatt, and the people, um, you know, went bananas. Uh, no, the first one that he, that he uh, that they messed up was the one that Batista won. Then they messed up the one that Roman won. So um, both of those guys, pretty fan favorites in WWE, even though Roman doesn't get any respect. Um, so you know why the fans would ruin those matches, I don't know. But that's sort of the the mystery. WWE, I, I think they would love to push Daniel Bryan, but there's those question marks around him to be the number one contender guy. Uh, the Miz, if he was to become the number one contender, I, I can see him having a match against Samoa Joe. I can see him having a match against AJ Styles. Um, and, 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 you know, the Miz, in my book, I don't want to just hand him the title. But uh, the Miz should be rewarded because this guy's been knocking it out of the park for the last two, three years in WWE uh, with just about almost anything that he's done. Um, you know, promos, matches, almost everything's been dynamite. So I can see this one going the other way um, with Daniel Bryan getting the win. But uh, both, both, you know, as long as these guys go out there and their plan is to have a real good, high quality match that people are viewing as a pay per view. I think we're going to be all right. If we get another, you know, sort of world's greatest Royal Rumble match, not that these guys did that, but if we get another match like, you know, uh, John Cena versus Triple H, or if we get another match like Undertaker versus Rusev, people should see through it and they should just crap all over it. But um, I'm hoping that Daniel Bryan versus The Miz, both of these guys are really good workers. I hope they put the work in. I hope Bryan gets the win and we see Bryan be champion in WWE again.